Hi guys, welcome to Film Street. Today's video is very important to me because we are going to discuss a very important point. We all are used to with the traditional banking services and we all use it on a regular basis. We go there and try to stake our gold, our assets, our collateral there to get a loan with them. Or we use them to secure our funds so that we can get interest on our savings. Right? So we regularly use banking services. But who is controlling these banking services and who is regulating them? How are we rest assured that our funds and collateral are secured, our lifetime savings are secured in the banks that we are using? Here we have all the central organizations, for example, RBI is here, SEBI is here, our government is here to secure our uh, collateral and savings. But we use similar kind of services in the decentralized world and we call it DeFi or uh, you know, decentralized finance. And since this is the new hype and everybody is excited to use it, there are numerous good projects that are working in the DeFi space. For example, there are some AMMs or exchanges or DEXs, decentralized exchanges, which gives us the power to exchange tokens without the interference of any third party. We can go there and exchange our tokens, but there are some people who are providing liquidity to these pools. They are investing, they are locking their Ether and altcoins so that we can trade freely. How they are rest assured? that their funds are secure and nobody can steal it. In the contrary world, contrary in world, uh, all the exchanges and banks are regulated by some regulated bodies. But in decentralized world, in DeFi, we have code is law, which means that everything is controlled and ruled by code. And if you have a flaw in your code, then you can be fell apart and this can lead to various consequences. And if we are at risk of losing our savings, then who will go there to lock their funds? I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm trying to give the reality to you and how you can safeguard yourself from this situation. Now, coming to the question. So, uh, let's start from the beginning and try to understand how all these uh, DeFi infrastructure or platforms are created where we have numerous platforms starting from the lending services for example Aave to the innovative platforms just like AMMs we already discussed like Uniswap or platforms like Maker where we can lock our collateral so that they can mint DIA out of it which is a stable coin and decentralized created stablecoin or some good yield farming projects where they incentivize you for a certain action. For example, providing liquidity to their AMM pool or holding a token. They can incentivize you in a big way. Some uh, yield farming protocols even give you percentage returns of over 100%. But the question here is, are they secure? And how can we find out whether they are secure or not? Is there any way? So, all these platforms, all these uh, uh, platforms are created with codes and we call them smart contracts. Smart contracts are nothing but lines of code where an automated action is taken whenever we click something and the code is executed. With these automated actions, the output is certain and equitable platform for everyone. For example, their investors will be incentivized as much as you or me who are just the users of the platform. So this creates an equitable platform and is very likely to grow in the future. But here we see another possibility that what if these platforms are not secure enough because at the end these are lines of code and if something wrong happens then we are at a risk to lose all our funds. Right now this is very fun to play with at, at the same time this is very risky so that uh, so we need to be very conscious while taking actions on the smart contracts that whether we are use uh, which platforms we are using and whether they are secure or not. Since we already know that smart contracts are there and these are just lines of code and uh, we all are interacting it with them in one way or another because some people are using Uniswap and some people are using Maker at the same time or Aave just to get interest out of it. But do you know there is a process called smart contract auditing? Smart contract audit. Now, what is exactly a smart contract audit? Smart contract audit is a 
is a process where a company or a third party organization which is not directly linked with the creators of the protocol and they validate the functionality of the smart contract because every smart contract has the functionality for example if it's a lending platform then its functionality is it will lock your funds it will lock your savings and will give it back to you with interest as a function of time so if you are uh, if you are using a smart contract then it has a functionality uh, along with it so a smart contract audit first of all validates the functionality of a smart contract right so it validates that uh, okay all the functionalities of the smart contract are working or not secondly and the most importantly it finds loophole in the smart contract so so that there are no loopholes in the smart contract so for example there can be some loopholes which can be exploited later to get funds out of the smart contract or exploit in a way for example okay, it's not a equitable platform anymore somebody is getting more interest and you're getting lesser interest or somebody can drain all your funds out of it or somebody can shut it down and lock can lock your funds forever right so the so to make sure or to ensure that there is no loophole uh, we need to do smart contract auditing so in smart contract auditing they find all these loopholes and report it to the company that has asked for this audit and then they later close it and uh, they audit it again we'll discuss this process later in this video only we will discuss that how smart contract auditing is done and what is the process behind this now the next question rises why do we need it why do we need a smart contract auditing right so first of all you need to understand it on the technical basis that ethereum native smart contracts are built on account based system which is in contrast to the utxo system that are used in bitcoin so this account based system makes it easier for the smart contracts to run on it and it's more flexible but at the same time it's more prone to the vulnerabilities and attack vectors so there can be some negative influences which can attack the smart contracts and exploit them right so at the same time so that they have created a technology which is more flexible and can be repeated and can be created uh, to create multiple smart contracts on the top of ethereum chain but at the same time it makes it more prone for the negative elements to attack it or create uh, some attack vectors on the uh, smart contract platform so this makes it very important that every smart contract that's built on ethereum cardano or uh, any or tron or, or whatsoever chain it is it needs to be audited to get the best thing done at average 80 new DeFi platforms are introduced every week on top of Ethereum only. And there are like numerous chains that are working with DeFi right now. On Ethereum only, we have 80 new projects. And when 80 new projects are coming to market every week, so the time spent on each platform or each DeFi protocol is becoming less and less because the market is exponential and everybody wants to launch their product as soon as possible. So in all this hurry, uh, the chances of creating an error or a loophole is very high. Hence, the need of smart contract auditing rises with the rising needs and this uh, sense of uh, urgency in the people or in the coders that want to launch their products. According to Cyber News, around 3,800 Ethereum smart contracts have vulnerabilities in their smart contracts. When we say 3800 smart contract, it means 3800 platforms, 3800 dApps have this number. And this is just a number quoted by Cyber News. The number can be much more and we don't know it yet. So there is a high probability that the platform you are using might have a bug or a loophole in its system, in its code base, which is not exploited yet. But it can be exploited in the future, so you are at a risk of that exploitation. If you are if you're working with any ICO, STO, FinTech, any uh, blockchain based game or DAP or application or a platform, everything needs to be audited so that you can be rest assured that your funds are safe and the platform you are, uh, you are interacting with do not have any loophole or any uh, possibility that it can be exploited in the future. Regular audits of these platforms are required so that, uh, for example, if, if I, I can get my uh, smart contract audited today, but if it's not, uh, if I made some changes 
during the journey next three months it needs to be audited again after three months so so there should be a frequency at which smart contracts is audited again and again for the best results for the best output this is the minimum that we need to achieve with smart contract auditing so that our platform is safe and secure now that we know why do we need it uh, let's discuss what if there is no smart contract auditing or what is the worst case scenario the first and most disastrous smart contract exploited happened in 2016 it was the dow attack everybody know about it everybody have heard about it it led to the various consequences it even led to splitting of ethereum chain for so ethereum chain was uh, split into two chains ethereum that we know today and ethereum classic and this uh, this exploitation was so big that it was estimated that at that point, point of time they exploited around 150 million dollars with this attack. The anonymous attacker took 3.6 million ether with him. That amounts to around 6.8 billion dollars today, which is a very, very big amount. 6.8 billion dollars. Imagine the number and the impact that one code can have one uh, error can have in the society and the whole DeFi infrastructure was delayed by four years due to this attack now we are in 2021 and we are seeing another DeFi wave in this year in the year 2021 but this raises the red flag that if something can happen in 2016 it can happen again in 2021 so we need to be prepared and we need to take some suitable steps to avoid this type of situation in the future so i guess i have scared you enough and uh, you know what i'm talking about but believe me this is all for your betterment and for the betterment of the blockchain society because we are the one who believe in the blockchain system and uh, we believe in DeFi infrastructure and it's going to grow uh, with all the inefficiencies in the centralized system DeFi is the only solution going forward so what you can do if you are a project and if you are working on a project, please do your smart contract audit as soon as possible and with number of firms. You should be very conscious that what company you are choosing for the smart contract auditing. One such company is Quill Audits, which has secured around $3 billion till date and it has audited more than 100 projects. They have audited almost 1 lakh code lines of code and uh, I can personally assure that they are doing a very great job. So if you are a project and looking for a smart contract auditing platform, Quill Audits can be the solution for you and it can serve as a great platform for you to do the process. So guys, here we are discussing about how blockchain auditing is done. So this is the basic flowchart that is adopted by Quill Audits to uh, audit their smart contracts. So they are very professional in their working and the basic process is they start with gathering code design patterns which means they will reach out to the code team and they will ask them that okay what are the functionalities that you want to do with the smart contract and once they have a list of all the functionalities and specifications that uh, you know they want to achieve with this code they will first gather all the uh, design reports and all the specification that this smart contract uh, contract is intended to achieve. Once they have gathered all the information that is required and they know what this code is intended to do, then they move on to the next part which is static analysis and formal verification. In this part, they will review the code with automated tools. They will check for if there is any obvious bug or error or any error that is uh, that is that small or big that can be uh, that can be ignored by a human error. Then they use all these in-house automated tools which are developed by their by their team to find out any malicious code or any flaws in the code. And once they are satisfied on this level, they will move on to the next stage, which is unit tested. Unit testing is the most rigorous part where they test the code in in every parameter. And in every condition, they will also find out that whether the code uh, has the appropriate gas functions or not. Because uh, if smart smart contract is not written properly, if the code is not proper, then the smart contract can be long and it is not an efficient code. 
and with inefficient code the gas fee would be very high so to avoid this they will test all these parameters and all the cases for the smart contract that all the possibilities that uh, the smart contract has to go through so that they are working in every condition and with every parameter and once they have unit tested uh, the smart contract for every condition then they'll go to the next stage which is manual analysis now this is the last stage of inspection where will they will manually inspect all the code lines and will read the, all the code lines so that they can find out that if there is some potential threat uh, or some flow problem or or error in the code which can create problems in the future like denial of service attacks or times time step dependence so they'll look out for all these errors and flows in the code and if they find out one they'll report it now the next part is filing all this whatsoever they have uh, gathered from the last three steps that is static analysis unit testing and manual analysis they will file a report according to that which is known as initial report in this initial report they'll they'll report all the bugs and everything and they will send it back to the team and team will fix the code and the whole step starts again from static and uh, static analysis to unit testing and manual analysis then if they find out any other error they will repeat this process of initial report and bug fixing and this will go on forever until the code is fixed and once they are completely satisfied with the outcome then they will send the final report and the final report once they have they will publish it on their blog or github so that it is available for everybody to read and they can trust that this code is safe and they can lock their funds here in this way they will give you the power that you can trust this uh, smart contract and they will help you uh, achieving your smart contract dependence and once the code is fixed then you, then they will they will audit it and they will announce it on their github and blog so that everybody can read it and they can use these report for the future reference so guys this was the idea about smart stage auditing what is smart contract what how smart contract auditing is done and why it is important we have covered everything in this video so that you can have a fair idea about how smart contract auditing is done and what are the parameters around smart contract auditing now you know it so you can check out that what company is doing smart content smart contract auditing for your uh, smart contract if they, it's a genuine company then you can proceed with it and can reach out thank you guys for watching this video and in this video we have tried to cover everything about smart contract auditing and why smart contract auditing is important and if you are working with the smart contracts nft or ico then you should reach out to quill audits because they are the one of the finest companies in blockchain right now for smart contract auditing and they are doing wonderful job uh, in this space and keeping our fund secure if you like our content please like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you can view more of this content in future thank you bye bye see you